My name is Shaps. I am misinformation.blog on Facebook, Instagram, and my website. I am glad to see you again today. For this video, I'm going to share with you these Gurgo products I got. I'm going to rate it based on my review for the past week. So these are all the products I got. Technically, this is a PR package. And they were sent to me by their president and owner, Miss Roxana Turnbow. For more details about that collaboration, you can check out my past video about it. I unboxed these products and I shared with you the backstory of my first ever collaboration with the US brand Girl Girl Cosmetics. I have like 12 products, 11 of which came from Girl Girl Cosmetics and the 12th product is actually a makeup eraser. Girl Girl is affiliated with Makeup Eraser and we are allowed to resell their product. All right? Okay, so before we start, I'm going to share with you a bit info about the brand. Basically, Girl Girl is an all waterproof makeup brand. That's our main strength. When I say our, it's because I'm a part of the brand. I'm not just an influencer, but also their consultant. I recruited more Filipinas in and outside the Philippines to be a consultant. And I already passed on the group to one of my colleagues, technically, Ash. I'm so glad to review these products because I know that other girl girl consultants are already waiting for my review and i've been using these products for like a week now i just want to give you guys a heads up though that i am not a makeup artist i am not an expert and not gonna be biased about my reviews i am a makeup addict and i know a lot of brands and makeup so this review is more like how i know makeup and basically a comparison with the other brands i have tried before I'm not going to be biased because I'm connected with the brand, but at the same time, since I've been reviewing it for the past days now, definitely I've seen all the angles, and this is like the third or fourth angle already. Start off with the Gurgo Waterproof Anti-Aging Matte Foundation. This is how it looks like on the outside. This is in shade Ivory 4. Let's try to swatch it. Technically, this shade is a bit lighter, one shade lighter. Since I add a bronzer and a blush on, it's okay if it's one shade lighter. As long as once everything is blended, I don't look odd or don't look too fair, it's okay. So this is the texture of the product. As you can see, it's kind of creamy and buttery. It doesn't drip. Let's try to swatch it. Okay, here. It's gonna blur my skin. If you notice now, it's not obvious and you cannot really see it on my hand because it blends easily and fast. For the first time ever, I'm gonna use a water spray on my vlog and that's because we're gonna test these products. Since Girl Girl is known for its waterproof abilities we're gonna test it we're gonna see if it's really worthy to be called as a waterproof makeup let's try to spray water on the foundation okay so this is where i put it in the middle and as you can see it blended really really well to the point that you cannot see anything anymore this is water all right so it's wet and my clothes are already wet let's wait for it to dry So as you can see, the lighter shade did not move, the foundation did not move, it did not smudge, and it's still there. I want me to wet it more, <laughs> my clothes are already wet, but I've been testing it for days now, and this is one of the best products they have sent me out of the 12. I love it, and I've tried the other brands, like NARS, and MAC, and 
even Dior. I'm a Dior addict, so you guys know that I won't say things like that against Dior. But I just have to say that in terms of its waterproof abilities, it's just so good. And I like its longevity. And they actually said, though, that it's not transfer proof. But let's see, all right? So how about let's try to add some more. And let's try if it's really transfer proof. So I love its container. It's just small, but it's around 50 ml. Okay, so for its price, I really like that it really has a good quality and the texture is buttery but once you apply it on the skin it really looks matte so let's try it again it's the second application already so it's definitely buildable let me cover my mold so you know that i tried to put the foundation there i like that it's very lightweight i've been using it for like six hours already and I like that it's so lightweight, you don't feel that you actually have makeup on. It looks thick on the skin, but it doesn't feel thick at all. We already put the foundation on, and I have a tissue here. Let's see if it's gonna transfer, alright? Oh, this is clean. Maybe there's a bit. Again, the brand did not say it's transfer proof or transfer resistant, but this is what it got. This is like the second time we put a foundation on, then we already poured water. You can try to wet it again. Okay, and then let's wipe it off with tissue. Okay, is it still there? The skin is still seen. So despite us building it and then spraying it already like twice and then trying to wipe it off with a tissue, yes, there's a bit of transfer, but at least we know that the foundation is still here. So definitely waterproof. Longevity, it can last for at least eight to 10 hours. But if I'm gonna rate this product, it's gonna be nine over 10. Why? Passed as a waterproof foundation. It has anti-aging properties and I just have to agree because there was a time that I used it and the next day my skin is glowing and I did not experience that glow before. I like that the transfer is very minimal. I can see myself using this outside and wear a mask and not hearing about the possible dirty mask. And it's very lightweight as well. But I guess the ugly part, why I deducted one point, I'm gonna rate it 9 over 10. It's because I see a bit of cracking on the sides and under my eyes. Packaging is really great. I'm a fan of the container and I love how smooth it is and it's 50 ml for its price oh my gosh this is underrated so it's really good I also like the fact that you can just squeeze it and you can control how much product you can put this container is just perfect because the texture of the foundation is quite thick yet when you apply it on your face it's very thin it's very lightweight so if you look at the mirror, the coverage is really thick, but your face doesn't feel anything. It's very lightweight. I love it. If I'm not that strict, I'm gonna give it more than 10, you know, like 11 over 10. It's just that I'm very particular in the creasing of the eyes. And I guess one of the reasons why it's creasing is because I kept on building it earlier. I have a story to share with you later, but one of the reasons why it actually cracked under my eyes or it creased under my eyes is because I had to apply it a lot of times. And I guess this is just a reminder for everyone to try to avoid putting it a lot of times on the face or using it as a concealer. Actually, I did not use another concealer because I'm gonna test it later and I'm gonna wet my face later. So whatever is on my face right now are basically most of them were girl. Last Wednesday, I tried to use this as it is. 
And if I'm gonna base it on my review from last Wednesday, it's actually gonna be 10 over 10. It did not crack. It did not crease. It's long wearing. It's lightweight. Everything I've mentioned today is just that one difference I did today that I did not do last Wednesday is that I added a primer. It has SPF 25. When you use two different brands, you tend to fight. And so there's a chance that's the main cause why it creased on my under eyes. But normally, I'm so strict choosing a foundation, it should not crease on my under eyes. But if you're gonna ask me, will I see this in my empties someday? Yes, because I'm gonna bring this to the beach on my vacations and certain events where I actually think that it's gonna be hot. So definitely yes, see me use this, especially when I can already go out because I know that the longevity and its waterproof capabilities are just out of this world. I don't think that any brand can actually beat this foundation in terms of its waterproof abilities. Mark my word. I don't think so. So definitely it's like a 9 or 10 over 10. Just a reminder for you guys to at least not put a lot. I stop building it a lot of times. Next is the Transfer Resistant Faux Filter Mineral Powder. I like its packaging on the outside. The box is really nice. On the outside, it really looks so good, right? But when you open it, this is how it looks like. Technically, it will pass the test, especially when you are not the type of person who loves a good packaging. So when you open it, it looks like this. Then there's a puff. Okay, so here's the puff. As you can see, it's quite dirty because I used it already. And this is where you get the powder. I have to rate this 9 over 10. Last Wednesday, I was really okay with it. I was rating it like 10 over 10 because in terms of its quality, it's really, really good. I just don't like its packaging. Why? It's very lightweight. It looks like a toy. But it's expected because you don't really buy a makeup for its packaging, right? It's more like for what's on the inside. It's not the type of packaging where it will get broken. The box is in great condition and it did not break. I mean, I saw how the boxes look like when I open it and some of it are actually ruined but this one is okay normally I would like this kind of stuff the plastic type I think it's gonna be okay and the logo with Girl Girl it's fine with me and even though it's plastic the underneath is quite sturdy but it's not just my ideal powder. It's not what I imagine it to be. Like, I have a MAC X Patrick Star powder, and it's somewhat like this. But the main difference is when I get the powder, the problem here is that look, if I put the puff here on them, I shake it just so I can get some products. This is the only product I can get. See? Because you can't get a lot because the puff is actually inside the powder. But if I remove the puff out of its container and I shake it, there you go. It's gonna be messy because the powder went to the mirror and I just hate the mess it makes. So what I do, since I don't like to wipe or waste a product, I have to put the powder in another container and from there I'm going to use a brush and continue blending my makeup. But as you can see, the puff is already dirty. At first, I opted to only use the puff and not the brush. The puff is okay in terms of setting your makeup, but if you want to build it more, this is not ideal to use. Under packaging, I hope they also included 
a girl girl name here in the puff I tried a lot of puff already and so far this is the only puff I used because I think this is the softest puff I've ever tried so despite not having you know girl girl's name on it or despite a little bit of mess here because of the mirror and all I like it simply because it's soft and I'm gonna wash it soon because I don't want to use it like this dirty. Let's try to apply it on my hand where I actually put the foundation. Its texture is actually thin. I like that it's not the type of powder that will actually make you sneeze or you're gonna be scared about it because it's gonna clog your pores. Also, I used this last Wednesday for like six to seven hours and though i'm actually allergic to mineral powders for some reason i am really okay with this one that's quite surprising the first time a mineral powder worked for me okay so let's see its texture and its coverage this one is more like really my shade so once i apply it on my face it automatically corrects the shade of my makeup also I like that the foundation does not oxidize same with this powder it does not oxidize there you go. it is not the type that will actually make your makeup look kinky or crease or crack just perfect so there now we covered it right now let's try to wet it using my magic spray <laughs> okay this is real water Okay, it's dripping you see it's real water and I'm gonna wipe it off this powder is transfer resistant but last Wednesday I tried to use this together with the foundation and I tried to hug and kiss my husband and it did not transfer on his face or on his body or on his clothes and neither did it transfer on this tissue So amazing if I can just give it like perfect 10 I would it's just that for practicality and just thinking about how busy I am outside if ever I have to use it outside like inside the car or at the mall it's not that easy to put out the product and where will you put it really when it's this messy or it goes to the mirror so it's really like a mess but when you actually use it at home it's not really an issue. You just have to get another container where you can put the powder. If you're gonna ask me if I'm gonna empty this someday, if I'm gonna keep it, most definitely. I'm gonna use it again when I'm on the outside or when I plan to go to the beach. I know it's very long wearing and I like that it doesn't really make my skin cakey. And again, it's a miracle that it works on my skin despite it being a mineral powder. Okay, next is the 4D Waterproof Eye Catching Mascara. Last Wednesday, I gave it like a rate of 10 over 10. And you can easily have a long and thick lashes with this one. This is the brush. The brush is easy to use and it doesn't hurt my eyes. But if I'm going to compare it with Dior, Dio has a better brush, but if I'm going to compare it with other brands, this will still win. And at first, in terms of its longevity and its waterproof abilities, this already won my heart. But for today, I used it with Dio Slash Primer. And for some reason, it did not perform well as how it did last Wednesday. It's really great to need a lash primer. I'm half and half in giving it a 9 or a 10. I had like a major lash problem earlier. For like an hour, there's something on my eyes and I can't remove it. And it seems like the lash primer and this mascara reacted and they formed something like a goop in the middle of my eyes and we can just get it. And it took us an hour or so to remove it and when I finally was able to remove it 
my eyes are already messy. This water underneath my eyes, this water here on the side of my eye. The makeup's waterproof ability is already tested. That's why I told you earlier that I kept on building and applying and adding foundation because I had to conceal that area where for some reason the foundation was removed. I just don't like it when I have to touch my eyes and remove something and I have the most sensitive eyes. This is why I have to use a lash primer because I don't want to lose lashes. I'm quite scared earlier when there are some lashes that fall out but at the same time I don't like the idea of you know poking my eyes just to get rid of a dirt. And though technically this is not Google's fault because they had to add a lash primer, this is just the first time a mascara with a different brand reacted to my lash primer because I've tried Cavendi and Lancome and they all work well with the lash primer. With Girt Girl, it actually makes a lot of lashes fall out more than without any lash primer. Every time I use this, I'm not supposed to use a lash primer. I like it, it's blackity black. Packaging is really awesome. It's long lasting. That's the only problem I have. I guess that's the major reason why it did not work out really well. It started with the eyes and then I have to correct it. I love its packaging because it's holographic. It looks like it's metallic and it's so luxurious. Probably the best mascara packaging I've ever seen. It's lightweight, but it really looks so expensive. Perfect for its theme, 4D. Let's try to swatch it. You can actually build it like two to three times and it does not clung. to wet it again. So there. So to smudge it. Did not move. Okay. So there. So that's what happens. Will I empty this one? I'll try to use it again without a primer and let's see if it's gonna work better. But if ever I'll lose the lash again, and if ever I'll have problems on my eyes again, despite its waterproof abilities, I won't use it again. I tried this without a lash primer and it worked. And then today I tried it with a lash primer and then it did not work. Even though it really has a good longevity and waterproof abilities, I have Lacoe and other waterproof mascaras here that can also do the job. So, at first I was really impressed, but after that incident, I have to say that I hesitated to keep it for a long time. I hope that next time it will work better without the lash primer, just like last Wednesday. So this is 9 over 10. Uh, next. Okay. Waterproof Pur Pur Effect Cat Eyeliner 4ml. If there's any other product that really caught my eye when I first visited GoGirl, it's this product. Look at its packaging. It's one of the best packaging they have. Really, really nice. The box looks luxurious. I like the print and all. And then the liner looks like this. It says here, girl, girl. And perfect cat eyeliner. Uh, technically, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 again. But I have to deduct one point for packaging. Why? Look. Perfect cat eyeliner. If I happen to get the cap. It will just stay line. The R is in the cap. So I'm not sure if it's just a sample product or maybe you already change it. You know, these are just tidbits of why I'm deducting stuff. But 
It's just sad though because the box is really great, but just because of this gap, you know, it's not that perfect anymore. But the product is really great. First, let's try to erase the mascara first. Oh my gosh, it can't be erased anymore. Okay, this is not water. This is already a makeup remover, but I cannot remove it at all. See? Okay, so I guess we just have to live with that for today. Okay, so let's put the stamp. Okay, let's see. Let's say this is the stamp. Okay. But if you notice my eyes, I am so extra. I did not just put it like that. I just have to extend the line and make it a bit longer. You know, I'm so extra. I don't like a cat. I would be a leopard. So, this tap is really great. I tried to like tap it already for like 20 times. It's not yet dry. It's okay. It doesn't hurt. It's so easy to use. And this one. Okay. I just have to share it. Okay. So, let's try to line it. There. It's really black and you can go to it. There you go. And if you want to extend like how I did it, that's what you should do. Why am I giving this an almost perfect rating? I just deducted like one point. Just funny, you know, it's just silly. A silly deduction. But you know, nothing's perfect, right? Okay. Why is it so good? One, it's longevity. It's eighth hour already since I wore it. It still looks black. It does not crack nor crease nor fall out. I'm just so surprised. I don't buy an eyeliner anymore. I have like a gel eyeliner, a bobby gel eyeliner. I avoid these types of liners because they tend to easily dry. And like right now, I'm wearing glitters on my eyes and most of the time when you use this type of eyeliner and you apply it over a glittered eyes or eyeshadow, it tends to be dry. It tends to absorb the glitters. It tends to absorb the foundation. It tends to absorb the eyeshadow. And so the eyeliner will be dry after that. And most of the time, the longest time I use this kind of eyeliner is like two to three months or maybe 12 uses because I just like use it for once a week so maybe like 12 uses and that's the maximum because it tends to dry faster eventually the ugly part is that it's not that black anymore so you just have to reapply and then it's not black again and then it's gonna crack or it's gonna fall out because it's not a good kind of eyeliner it's waterproof and this one is really different. The formula is excellent. I mean, the black is still obvious. It did not fall out. Again, there's a fallout earlier from mascara. And again, it's caused by the mixing of the lash primer and the mascara. So I had like a bit of fallout. There are some photos I have wherein it was caught that I had minimal fallout that came from the mascara and primer. But from the eyeliner itself, it's not bothersome. It's lightweight, it doesn't make my skin or eyes feel itchy. I did not have any problem with it. Oh, I reapplied this on some areas just to make it more black or darker. I tried to build it again. And as I build it, I tried to be really fast and really quick in doing it. And I guess it went to my eyes. And then I became teary eyed. And I was really scared that it would make a big mess out of my eyes. And I just have to look up and it's all dried. I'm just so amazed. It did not irritate my eyes. Most of the time when it's like this, it tends to make my eyes run, but nothing. Let's go back to the eyeliner swatch and see if it's actually waterproof. <laughs> okay. That's true water and let's wipe it. Okay, so 
it's still there. Uh-huh. Black as ever. Right? Okay, there's still water though. Let's smudge it. Is it still there? Did it move? Did it actually smudge? It stayed. It stayed, right? <laughs> Amazing and quite scared because I'm not sure <laughs> how will I be the whole day with these on my hands. But I guess it actually proves that this eyeliner is just perfect. My favorite, Neon Waterproof Glow Eyeshadow Palette. There's Glow, Beam, Luster, Glimmer, Dazzle, Glisten, Flame, Gleam. These glow in the black light. I made a mistake in a past video. I said it glows in the dark. <laughs> I really don't know the difference, so I'm sorry about that. But since we don't have a black light, I can't really test it. I love that the glitters are huge, wet. It feels buttery. It's chunky. It doesn't have a kickback. So the palette, as you can see, it tried all the colors. It's not messy. But there's a bit of fallout. Like probably in 100% is like... 10% and it's expected because as you put it on your eyes there's something that will fall off while you apply it definitely as you get the glitters and then as you put it on your eyes a bit of glitters will fall off to your eyes but once it's already on your eyes it won't fall off anymore that's the good thing about it and I like that it's not heavy in the eyes. There are a lot of pigments that are actually kind of heavy. And it's really pigmented. I tried to put two different colors on my eyes. And then I made my boys, my husband, and my kids guess what color or what glitters are on my eyes. And they were able to see what color is it. If it's green, if it's yellow, if it's blue. I encountered a lot of glitters wherein you see blue or purple or pink on the pan but when you put it on your hand or your face or your skin it's just the same color the glitters are just the same color but this one this uh, hint of the shade is on the palette so it's more like the glitters have the same color but the hint on the shade is still there okay let's try a bit of what we have here. How about green? I'm not fond of using a brush on this palette because it seems to be soft. So I just do this. And when you apply it on your eyes, you don't just scrub it because that's when the fallout happens. It has a hint of green. How about let's try flame? Again, just dab. You'll get a lot of products by just dabbing. Okay, I can see red here. Spread it. Or be here on the top. Just dab it there. You consider it like a pigment on a palette. In terms of its packaging, I'm going to give it a passing grade because it's good, you know? Again, no kickback there. It's clean. It's not messy at all. It has a mirror. Perfect. Just like the 4D mascara, it's also holographic. The eyeshadow palette is actually thick. I love the logo and its color. And it even has another covering just so it can protect the eyeshadow palette. It looks like a chocolate bar, a treat for the eyes. Okay, so if this is actually perfect, what will be my rating then? It's gonna be 9 over 10 again. Believe me, I wanna give it a 10 over 10 or it's lower, but I can't say anything bad about it. But I'm deducting one point because one, I don't 
like that the glitter's texture is kind of soft to the point that once you get a glitter and then put it on the hands, the tendency is that it's patchy. It's patchy because there's something in the formula that probably makes it slip because it's waterproof abilities. But overall, this is the only thing or problem I have because when I put it in my eyes, it's really not a big deal. It's just that it's kind of frustrating that when you put it on your eyes, the whole eyes are not covered. This pigment is just like MAC pigments, but I guess MAC pigments are way bigger or you can actually capture or get more glitters from the pad to your eyes or there's a chance that the pigment is actually bigger or better compared to what Girl Girl has. It passed my expectation, but I guess it's more like I hope I'll see more pigment. I hope I'll see more glow. And my issue here is more on the formula instead of the packaging. Another palette, Girl Girl Cosmetics Fierce Personalities. This one is not holographic, but this is like animal embossed. It feels like a snake skin. Parang best mula. Again, it's like a chocolate bar for your eyes. This is cellophane here. There's a bit of kickback there. There's a kickback, like a 10% of what's on the palette. The makeups are actually really sturdy. The packaging is good. When the package arrives, most of the products are actually squished. The boxes are kind of broken. It looks like it was squashed. It looks like it has been through a lot. <laughs> it actually came from the US to our country. I believe it was like 10 days before it arrived here. A lot of problems with the customs and so it arrived like after two weeks. The shades in this palette are mostly neutral. Some glitters, fat. This is the perfect eyeshadow palette if you're not into bold colors. If you always go out and if you go to work, this eyeshadow palette is great already because it has almost all the colors, the regular colors you need for a certain look. And it's not something that you're gonna be scared to put in your eyes. They are all wearable. It actually reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. The only difference is that this is made of cardboard. We have upcoming eyeshadow palettes, so stay tuned. You can follow at Girl Girl Cosmetics and also on Facebook and on YouTube. You can search of them and check our website, girlgirl.com, to see the eyeshadow palettes that we have. They're really nice and the colors are outrageous so I'm not really a fan of this palette because of the shades they have but I'm not judging the shades right I'm judging the product itself in terms of packaging this will definitely pass and it did not squish the boxes are actually squished when it arrived but the products are intact you know the makeups are intact so wow <laughs> Uh, let's try to swatch, like for example, Junko. Okay, I tried to use a brush earlier and it really did good. It's really pigmented. Mm -hmm. There you go. Not patchy. Let's try red, Gloria. Love this shade. See? No kickback. If there is a bit, it's a good sign. It's like red orange. The names on this palette are actually inspired by powerful women all over the world. And so I'm just happy that I was able to get this kind of palette because it reminds me of how powerful women are. Let's try the glittery ones, like Rosa. Buttery. Okay, it's 
kind of new to, to Michael Bisky. Oh, wow. Wow. Love it. Nice, right? Nude with a hint of glitter, matte, and then matte. Should we dare? Ah, I feel so cold now. <laughs> Then once you go out of the water, the colors are still there. Your face still looks amazing. I mean, there are a lot of brides right now who are actually getting married under the sea. Or when you have a beach wedding, this is really perfect because you know, even though you have a dip in the pool, you still look perfect. Let's try to smudge it, right? Is it still there? Yep. Nothing. Wow. Okay, for its price, its formula, and its packaging, I can give it like a 10. And I tried to apply it last Wednesday, just on its own. And it worked really well. It stayed for like seven hours. I did not put an eye primer. And today, I put my Holy Grail Norris eye primer. And for some reason, it cracked a bit but since I'm very strict in reviewing makeups and especially my eye shadow or eye makeup look I tend to see it immediately and if you zoom into my eyes there's a crack in some areas either because of the primer or because the eye shadow did not go well with the neon glitters And their website, they already mentioned it, that you don't need a primer anymore because it's already great without a primer. And it's true. I tried it last Wednesday. It worked really well. But now that I've tried a primer together with the eyeshadow palette, I must say that it did not go well. And that's why I will deduct one point, making it a 9 over 10. You just have to be careful what products you're going to mix these makeups with because they tend to really react or crack a bit. I guess one thing that's really great is that I never had a bad reaction. Any rash, any redness, any acne. That's really a major thing for me. We're just trying this with water because it's waterproof. But when there's heat, what will happen? If the sun will melt our makeup. What will happen? Though it's actually sweat proof as well. Definitely it's okay. But it's also different when you go outside and the sun is there trying to really break your makeup or trying to melt your makeup. It's a different story. And I'm just here inside our home and no sun at all. So this is just a review for now. So I'm just quite not happy that there's a bit of, you know, creasing there. But again, it did not happen last Wednesday when it's just pure girl girl products. For some reason, because I don't really put makeup that often anymore, I just want to make it look extra. So I'm quite sad. I just had to experience this. But just a heads up though, it's not something you will notice, especially if you are not a makeup enthusiast. You won't notice this. On pictures, you won't see this. But it's just that these are my eyes. And that's one of my ways to check on how good an eyeshadow is. And I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, different brands, and they work together with my NARS eyeshadow primer that I have been using since 2010, 11. Since so like what, 10 years? So this is the only product that did not really work that well. NARS eyeshadow primer 
or again, probably the glitters. But at the end of the day, I just don't like the fact that it has a bit of a crease in it. Just a bit. So I guess 9 to 10 out of 10. I've never tried an eyeshadow that is actually waterproof. In terms of longevity and its pigment, it's awesome because despite of the creasing in the middle, again, you won't really notice it. The pigment is just there. It did not change despite the sweat. The color did not fade. So, you know, these things are actually forgivable. Next, Diamond Crush Waterproof Lip Gloss. I'm not really that excited to try these because I'm not into lip glosses, but I'm just so surprised how it worked on me. It's the shade Cash number 11. This is what I'm wearing. Let's reapply it. I like that it looks sexy and neat. <laughs> it has like a 2D, 3D shine. It's very hydrating on the lips, very moisturizing. But just to remind you, you still need to exfoliate your lips because even though it actually hydrates and moisturizes your lips, it tends to also give you a bit of dryness if you don't exfoliate at least once a week. It doesn't have a scent. It's nice. And the packaging is really good. The packaging is really great, actually. I just don't like the box. Look, it's really broken. That's the ugly part. But the packaging or the box is really sturdy. It's just so hard to open it. That's why most of the boxes of the lip glosses are actually broken now. It's kind of heavy. And it looks so sturdy and classy. I like it. I, I love everything about it. And the color is just really good. And it's very pigmented. I won't splash water on my face right now. But I will drink water. Because I'm thirsty. Now let's see. Definitely this is not transfer proof and not smudge proof, but when I actually unboxed it a week ago or two weeks ago, I swatched it on my hands and it did not smudge for some reason. It took me a long time to remove the lip gloss. I even have to use a soap and scrub it on my hands just so I can remove the color. So as you can see, there's already a smudge here, this lip stain this from my lip gloss there it's a lip stain again they did not claim that it's gonna be smudge proof or transfer proof so I guess it's okay the pigment is still there and it's long wearing. It lasted me like maximum of three hours when I keep up drinking water, up to at least five glasses of water before it's gonna be erased. This is one of my favorites as well. Radiate number eight. So this is how it looks like. The packaging is just like the same. It's hard to open the box. Let's try to remove the eyeshadow. It's hard to remove it using a makeup remover okay there it is or a makeup wipe there okay let's put it on let's swatch it mm -hmm. there it is okay. this is shine number one really smudges and transfers like a regular lip gloss but the pigment even after drinking is still there you can see it the longevity is awesome it's lightweight and it can hydrate and moisturize your lips if i'm gonna grade it it's more like nine out of ten as well because you're supposed to blot your lips and the lip glosses will turn into glittery lips and if I'm going to compare it to what they have on the website I did not see that on my lips. Good news for those who want to have subtle lips or a subtle gloss 
but for those who like uh, loud lip gloss, it's not really for us. I love how subtle and moisturizing the lip glosses are. We're almost done. How about these brushes, Cutie, right? Uh, as soon as I visited their website, I immediately asked Roxana if it's possible to get their brushes. And I'm so glad she sent me this. The container is great. I love it. It's sturdy. I can use it. Definitely, I'm gonna keep it. The brushes. I have to rate it 8 over 10. Wow, first rating that is actually not a 9. I don't like some of their eyeshadow brushes because some of it cannot pick up products or makeup. Some of them are too soft to actually get glitters or get matte makeup. And for some reason, I had a hard time with some of them. That's one reason why I deducted one point. Second reason, despite how great these big brushes are, for some reason, well, I'm actually using one of them because I used all of them. <laughs> well, I'm putting it on my face, tapping like that, blending, blending. I saw some brushes on my face from this brush. And I thought it was like an accident or maybe a problem. But then soon, you know, like if you forcefully get a hair from the brush, you can still remove some. Yeah, so that's one. But I still like these big brushes because it's an isolated case. Let's try to forcefully remove the hair from the brush. Nothing. Okay, how about this one? I have a secret brush here inside. But yeah, it's the same contoured and angled brush. Nothing. It's just, I guess it's just an isolated case. It's more like 8 to 9 out of 10. The eyeshadow brushes are not that good. I can't even contour my nose or my eyes using those brushes. That's why I really deducted one point. And then one point for that defective or not that perfect brush. Overall, I love how soft these brushes are. The handles are awesome. It's made of wood. And I tried to clean it using a simple soap and shampoo. And I was able to clean it without leaving any residue on the brush. It did not stain. It did not turn into red or brown. And it's still sturdy. You'll see this in more of my vlogs. Definitely a keeper. 8 out of 10 for these brushes. Oh, Gorgo products are not just waterproof makeups. They are also vegan, cruelty-free, and I love their ingredients, especially for their lip glosses. It's full of good ingredients. That's actually one of the reasons why it's very hydrating and lightweight on the lips. Also, the foundation, it has anti-aging properties and maybe one of the reasons why my acne is actually healed and my skin is glowing the next day after using it. You won't be scared in applying these makeups because you know that animals aren't hurt and most probably no humans will get hurt after using it. Okay, we're almost done. Two-in-one smudge-proof lip kit. Mm -hmm. One of the best they have, the packaging is more like Kylie's. Now, we will remove what's on my lip and we will try this out. If there's one problem that I noticed here, the retractable lip liner, just have to be very careful. It won't break easily, but just have to be careful. There are times when I pull it out and when I pull it down, it doesn't go down on its own. So I just have to put it like that. But now it's working. I think it's just a one-time thing that it happened. So just be very, very careful because it tends to happen once in a while. In my case, it happened once alone. But just to just for you to know. But now, right now, look, you see I'm putting it up and down. No problem. 
okay? So let's watch it first. Okay. Not my lips. I don't normally apply the whole lip liner on my lips. I just draw it on the edges of my lips. If you're wondering what our lip liner is for, it's to avoid bleeding. The lip liner alone, okay, there. Now you're witnessing it here with me. Okay, there's that one time when it doesn't snap and it doesn't want to go down, but it worked again, so. <laughs> okay, so before we apply the liquid lipstick, Let's first test the waterproof abilities of this lip liner. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's dripping. Oops. It's dripping, so let me wipe. Mm -hmm. Okay, none on the tissue and none on my hand. Now let's do the liquid lipstick. Whenever I use a liquid lipstick, most of the time, I can't blot my lips because it's drying, it will crack, it's thick on the lips, and it's not advisable. But I can still blot it. It's lightweight and I don't see it crack. Let's try to build it some more. It is a mocha scent. This is the first time I smelled something from the brand. Okay, let's watch this as well. Okay. All right. Here it is. I'm gonna grade it 9 over 10 as well. The only deduction is from the retractable lip liner. I just don't like the fact that I have to worry if it's gonna break or not. It's like a mini heart attack whenever it does not go down. I just don't like that idea. And let me just remind you that this is not the only brand that has a problem with any retractable product. NARS is way more expensive than Burberry, but it also has problems with its liners, with, with its retractable liners. That's why they repackaged and changed it to a non-retractable liner. Uh, you have to sharpen it now. And even MAC has problems, so it's a thing. It's even Vice has problems. It's really a thing. So it's okay. It's forgivable. If you're gonna ask me, why am I gonna buy this? I mean, I know a lot of lip kits that are actually waterproof and smudge proof. And what's the difference? We, really? I guess aside from the fact that it is vegan and cruelty free, your lips won't crack. It won't feel hurt because the formula is not irritating. It feels a bit thick, but not to the point that it will actually crack on me. So, it's nice. Uh, let's wet it on my hand. At the same time, let me drink water. Let's see if there's going to be a lip stain when I drink water. Okay? No stain at all, right? No stain. Lips are not cracking. Pigment still there. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, my LP. Okay. Ah, my clothes are already wet. Let's try to wipe it off. It's still there. Before we proceed to the last product we have here, I'm gonna wet 
half of my face, not the eye, please, because it's gonna be messy if I do that. Let's see if this makeup eraser can actually erase the makeup on the left side using just water, okay? But first, let's test the makeup that's on my face right now by wetting this side. So for the love of Girl Girl and my team, I'm just gonna cover my pro. Well, this is actually waterproof, but still, let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> I am actually really wet. I have to check on my pro and see if it's wet and dry it. And at the same time, I have to reconnect to the Samsung Galaxy wearable app. Okay, so my face is still dripping. You can still see it. Okay, I'm, my face is literally dripping with water. Mm -hmm. Oh my, my eyes God. are also wet. I'm just not gonna wipe it off later. But everything's wet. The right side is not. So if you can zoom in and compare how my makeup looks like at the moment. I guess at some point I'm also testing Buds Pro waterproof abilities here. So before I leave you guys and before I erase my makeup with this makeup eraser, of course, I won't leave you without hashtag misinformation lessons and my face is still tripping. Nowadays, people are actually less selfless. Why? Well, even before the pandemic hit, we tend to think, what's in it for me? right? I mean, why will I talk to you? What's in it for me? Why will I buy this? What's in it for me? We tend to make decisions and do things basing on how much we'll actually gain from that situation. And so now that we're in a world where there are tons of selfish people around us, or there's a possibility that we ourselves are already selfish. We don't know how to love other people anymore. So how can we avoid to be a what's in it for me kind of person? And how do we avoid a person who thinks that way? The best way for you to avoid a what's in it for me person is to still be selfless, share, love more, understand more, give more, but at the same time, if there's no more peace, if you're not happy anymore, and you feel like this person who is what's in it for me all the time, crosses and bridges the line, and doesn't know how to respect you, doesn't know how to say things nicely, and if this person corrupts your mindset, then think. Think again and again. It's okay to be selfless and to give yourself fully to a person. But what's not okay is to actually give yourself fully to the wrong person. So before you give and before you get tired of giving, think first. Maybe the reason why you actually got tired of sharing or giving yourself is because you're giving to a what's in it for me person. Now also, how do you avoid to be that kind of person? When you actually stop spending time with a selfish person, chances are you'll definitely be more selfless. And when you think about the beauty and joy in sharing instead of beauty of what you get, it's help will still be that light, will still shed some light. And you see, maybe you have like 10,000 or 100,000 at the moment, but that's not meant for you. That's part of it that's meant to be shared to other people. And maybe, just maybe, you're just an instrument for you to give that blessing to another person. But you're just too selfish to not share it. It's okay to be selfless, but also be selfish when you meet a what's in it for me person. 
No, I think my left side is dry at least. Okay, so let's see if this is gonna be a transfer now that we wet it. But I just have to remind you though, this makeup has dual, dual primer, dual bronzer, dual blush on. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and I'm gonna try to smudge it. Or transfer it. Okay, so this is what we have. Blush on and bronzer. If there's something I noticed, this is more pigmented than the other. <laughs> it's great! It's, it's as if nothing happened. Mascara intact, eyeliner intact, eyeshadow not cracking anymore for some reason, uh, glitters intact, everything intact. My my brow liner is actually from Diego, it's actually waterproof, so wow, it worked. But also, you just have to stay tuned because we will also have our own eyebrow liner very very soon i know art and my team are so excited to have that as well it's so nice oh my gosh it's so amazing this is the first time i did this okay now for the final test of this makeup eraser so you just have to wet this one is for exfoliation the rough one and then this one the smoother one is for removing makeup this is just water nothing in it my son actually prepared it for me. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? You just have to wet it. It's makeup eraser. You can also buy it from Google.com. Okay, I'm gonna remove it now. Mm -hmm. You can see my pimples. To remove the lipstick since it's long lasting. Oh my god, this is tough. There you go. removed let's just dry the excess from the lipstick it looked like a hot mess right side with makeup left side without ah wow my skin is now showing overall i love girl girl i love their makeups all of them are actually waterproof i have tested and to prove to you how waterproof they are, its abilities for you guys. It deserves to be known. It deserves to be seen out there. And if you happen to be interested to try these products, they actually have more to offer, like contour palettes, magnetic lashes, more eyeshadow palettes. And you're just gonna be so excited because the brand is just starting and for you to have your hands on these products, it's just an experience and I can't wait to see your OOTDs under the sea, under the sun, wherever. We're not going to be scared of water, heat, or anything anymore because we know we have makeup that's going to stay longer than our ex-boyfriends. Ah! Hashtag who got Okay, so yeah, definitely go check us out. You just have to go to girlgirl.com, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and our website. If you want to order, please use my code JAPS, J-A-P-S. And when you use my code, you can have 20% discount. And also, you can DM me or email me if you have any questions, if you want to be a consultant, 
or do you have any other questions or care from these products? I mean, they have been through the worst. Yeah. I tried my best to look for a flaw from these makeups and believe me, those are already the worst I can say for now. I just hope that you guys will give this brand a chance because it's a game changer. And for me, it can even beat other brands out there. And so just go for it, just try. Just one product at a time. And you'll see, I'm not lying when I say these are great. That was a long vlog. I'm glad I'm still here. And you saw the worst and the best from this video. But I'm just so happy that you spent another time with me today. I hope we can talk more in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about the brand. What are your favorite products and what do you want to purchase from this brand? Is it the eyeshadow palette, powder, foundation? If you're a makeup artist, I think you're gonna be so excited to use these products on your clients. They're just awesome. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and my blog if you want more details about these products and so much more. Again, my name is Chat. Thank you, Poor Girl, for sending me these products. And I am so glad to be a part of this company. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye. Want to join our monthly giveaways? Just comment and subscribe. Thank you for the free grandparents. Connect with me on Facebook. DM me on Instagram or learn more about me on my blog, misinformation.blog. See ya!